my friends, welcome on in to episode number 12 of season 7. Let's go extreme on this rumble. Let's have a really great rumble today. Let it be a nice long rumble. Let's hope we don't get participants getting thrown out right away. Let's have opponents be in there for a while and really give you guys a great show. The season has been very well so far. We've had our ups and we've had our downs with some of the winners. Pretty much ups on the winners. So we're good with that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the debut of our season mode last night. And we will continue with the season mode part two today. Or slash this evening. But before all that, let's get this rumble going on this Monday. At number one, we have the Juggernaut. As the Juggernaut makes his way out. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe like comment on these videos you're old school thank you so much for the subscription i appreciate you guys but continue liking continue commenting share these videos with other people because i know people that share these videos with others and they enjoy it so i'm sure you know some other people out there that would enjoy this type of video so please mention me you know share these videos let's get up there so enough of that the juggernaut is being booed out of the ring here pretty much fans are not happy with the juggernaut hopefully the fans will start cheering for opponent number two but who is it The anticipation, the waiting, the waiting is done. Number two is going to be He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Do 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 do. -do. He has the power. I'm sure, they don't got any lightning going around. That'd be a pretty cool entrance. But He-Man, number two, against the Juggernaut. Now this will be a great matchup. Look at this. Look at this calm, cool, and collective He-Man. Just coming out to the ring. He's got no fear. He doesn't look all mad. He looks confident. He looks ready to go. He's checking the fans. Checking around. Hitting the stairs. He's ready to go. Yeah. He doesn't need no long entrance. He just wants to go. He wants to get this bell rung. Juggernaut looks ready too. All the Juggernaut's got to do is get back in the ring and listen for that bell. And here we're going to go. There we go. What a nice duck underneath that clothesline from He-Man. Then He-Man grabs Juggernaut. Juggernaut gets out. And a couple hits. And Juggernaut blocks He-Man's kick. Then a couple hits from Juggernaut. Three hits. And He-Man is down. And Juggernaut picks up He-Man by the scruff of the neck. And then lifts him up and slams him face first down to the mat. And then knees He-Man right in the face. I would think He-Man would do so much better against the Juggernaut. And He-Man over and... Not out. Here comes Krillin. At number two. Out of these three, I would think Krillin could go coast to coast. We've seen it before. But Krillin needs to win a rumble. Nice body press against the top, second rope onto He-Man. Ooh, Juggernaut was either going to go for a DDT or a suplex, but Krillin gets out of it. Here comes Popeye at number four. 
as you guys can see my friends we still don't have the HUD on the bottom we don't have their names and where their health bar is I wanted to try it yet again to see how well we I can do without butchering names or forgetting who is who in this rumble Popeye is really going for He-Man's knee there wow nice drop kick from Krillin right into the knee of the juggernaut anyways so we'll see how well I do with the no hut on the bottom there and you know how bad I'm gonna blah 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 my words here in this video as we all know I will do eventually and eventually I will call somebody by the wrong name as of you know example yesterday kept calling Beavis Butthead for some stupid reason so Krillin has the three amigos going on Pim who just came in uh, Popeye is trying to get rid of He-Man now Krillin and the Juggernaut neckbreaker into a front neckbreaker and look at this look who's returning at number six it's Walter we haven't seen Walter in a few videos Walter's been away for a little bit but he looks like he's back for a little bit so let's see how well Walter does. Nice neck, or go, oh God, there I go, I messed up. Backbreaker, not a neckbreaker, backbreaker. And then Pim scratches Walter's back for him. How nice of him. Snap suplex from Pim onto Walter. Krillin with a whole bunch of kicks onto Popeye. Gets Popeye in the corner, Walter has Krillin now. He-Man and Pim for just a brief second. Here comes Paul the Alien at number seven. So far, no eliminations, which is awesome, which I love. Look at that move from the Juggernaut. Grabs He-Man by the throat, throws him down, and pigs him up and choke slams him. Nice spear from Paul on the Juggernaut. Drop kick from Pim onto Walter. Popeye and Krillin. Krillin with a wheelbarrow into a bulldog. Or, I'm sorry, into a DDT. Oh, my God. I am messing up again, and I'm not even realizing it. And Krillin has just eliminated He-Man as Beaker has entered at number eight. So our first opponent is gone. Krillin has the first elimination of the day. Nice suplex there from Beaker onto Krillin. Paul is in trouble. Can Pim eliminate Paul? I think he can. You know, Paul's small enough. Beaker thrown over by the Juggernaut. Beaker thrown into the ropes and then big booted by the Juggernaut. Pim with a beautiful stunner on Paul. Now the Juggernaut's got Paul. Lifts up Paul. Jackknife power bombs Paul. Now Walter and the Juggernaut. Walter with a nice hip toss arm drag there on the Juggernaut. Beaker's taking it easy for a moment. Look at this beautiful move from Pim. Oh, reversal from Popeye. And then clotheslines are from behind. Charmander, number nine. If I mess up on any names, it's going to be Charmander. Charizard. Charmillion. All these Chars that we have. DDT on Charmander from Beaker. Walter... Fisherman suplex, ooh. Small package suplex, it looked like. From Walter on the beaker. Paul trying to get rid of Popeye. Lifts up Popeye. Krillin with a 619. Here we go, 619 on a Walter. Bam! 619 indeed. What happened? No, no Krillin. What happened? No! No! That was a... That. He went for the 619 and all of a sudden he's on the floor? Oh my goodness. Carmander tried to dropkick Pim, but Pim ducked out of the way so he wouldn't get eliminated, but that was a bad elimination on Krillin's part. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is just sad. Snap error from Charmander onto the Juggernaut. Then a basement drop kick. Him and Popeye 
Charmander and Beaker. Beaker picks up Charmander, slams him. Popeye in the corner. Beaker with a knee on the pim. Popeye with a forearm on the pim. Sir Arthur at number 10. Paul and Walter. Forearm to the back of Walter. Throws Walter in the corner. Juggernaut is there to try to eliminate Walter. Can this be it for Walter? Walter is done. Walter's return was very short. But that's all right. We may see Walter again. Walter's had his good rumbles. He's had his bad rumbles. And this is one of his bad rumbles. Popeye and Sir Arthur. Pim has just been eliminated. And Popeye has just been eliminated. Just like that, everyone is getting eliminated. Sir Arthur misses the clothesline. And then the stomp from the Juggernaut. Charmander is going to take advantage of Sir Arthur on the ground. Juggernaut picks up Paul. Follow a slam from the Juggernaut onto Paul. Paul right back up. Ooh, what a chop from Charmander on Paul. Then Paul kicks Charmander. Then Paul kicks him from the second rope. Now Sir Arthur is going to take advantage and go after Paul. Olympic slam from Sir Arthur on Paul. Then Lufez press on the Juggernaut from Sir Arthur. What a slap from Beaker on the back of the head of Charmander. Beaker and Paul now. Paul into the ropes. Sir Arthur prevents Beaker from eliminating Paul. Here comes Prince John at number 11. Beaker with a reversal on Sir Arthur. Prince John, nice takedown with Paul. Beaker and Charmander. Prince John and Sir Arthur. Beaker thrown over. Sir Arthur put in a submission hole by Prince John. He gets out of the move of Prince John. Juggernaut slowly gets up. Paul has Charmander in a submission. Nice move from the Juggernaut on to Sir Arthur. And here comes Maui at number 12. Now is the Juggernaut number one in this rumble? I believe he was number one. So he is still in it, folks. He could go coast to coast. Throws Sir Arthur into the corner. Is he done? Is Sir Arthur going to be done? I don't think so. Charmander puts Beaker into the ropes. Beaker has been eliminated by the Charmander. Charmander on the second rope and misses that elbow. Robin Hood. Will him and his arch rival Prince John go one on one? Like we had last season when Prince John made it to the season final. In the victory rumble that he did when the last two opponents were Prince John and Robin Hood. That'd be great to see again. Maui's taking it to Juggernaut. Juggernaut just needs to be hit one more time and then he'll be stunned. Come on, John, you can do it. There we go. Juggernaut is now stunned. Oh, come on, Paul. Do it, Paul. Do it. Do it. Charmander. Look at this. Guys, hello. Hello. We have an open invitation there for an elimination. Go, Sir Arthur. Go. Sir Arthur finally got rid of a stunned juggernaut. Sir Arthur just got rid of Charmander. Here comes Biscuit Soldier at number 14. Sir Arthur is cleaning house. Two quick eliminations. Biscuit Soldier lifts Robin Hood up. And then Robin Hood with an arm drag. And then big boots Sir Arthur. Sir Arthur right back up. And Robin Hood goes right after him with some chops and some hits. Maui and Biscuit Soldier. Decent, decent rivalry there. Nice takedown from Maui on to the Biscuit Soldier. That was a beautiful spine buster indeed. Look at Paul pick up Robin Hood and slam him down. Prince John after the ankle of Biscuit Soldier. Paul has Maui in a submission hold. Really working on that arm. Maui gets out. Sir Arthur and Paul. Here comes Dr. Mario at number 15. Can the good doctor win his first rumble? He goes right after Paul. From the bottom rope into a hair corona from Dr. Mario and a Paul. Double team 
attempt under Robin Hood. Robin Hood breaks it. Prince John and Sir Arthur. Body slam into some headbutts from Sir Arthur and Prince John. Prince John right back up though. Here comes Trap John, number 16. And Robin Hood tried it almost, almost got rid of Biscuit Soldier. He came very close. Trap Jaw puts Prince John in the corner, then Prince John with an elbow to Trap Jaw. Now Robin Hood's gonna work on Trap Jaw. Robin Hood and Sir Arthur again. Sir Arthur gets Robin Hood down and starts wailing on his face. Now in Trap Jaw. Prince John and Sir Arthur now. Biscuit Soldier's got no one. Sir Arthur over. Prince John's trying to choke him out. Paul and Biscuit Soldier. Bad match up there. Dr. Mario's got Trapjaw down. Working on Trapjaw's leg. DDT from Maui onto Robin Hood. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Sir Arthur has just been eliminated by Prince John. Nice slap from Paul. Robin Hood is in a stunned state. Dr. Mario's taking the sweet time getting up. DDT from Maui on the Biscuit Soldier. Trapjaw has just got a big boot on to Prince John and eliminated Prince John. Nice back suplex from Maui on to Paul. Can Paul get rid of Biscuit Soldier? This will be huge. This will be huge of him. Back body drop from Trap John to Dr. Mario. Missed big boot attempt from Trap John. I don't know what he was trying to do. Paul cannot get rid of Biscuit Soldier. Trap John and Robin Hood. Ooh, Biscuit Soldier interfered in that attempt. Whatever Robin Hood was going to try and do. Maui and Biscuit Soldier. Biscuit Soldier thrown in the corner by Maui. Here comes Dennis at number 17. When Dennis returned a couple rumbles ago from for this season. He was, what, number two? Now he's number 17. So not bad, Dennis. Not bad at all. Forearm to Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is down. Robin Hood and Trap Jaw now. Nice suplex there from Robin Hood on the Trap Jaw. Paul now is suplex Robin Hood down. Trap Jaw and Paul. Here comes the Intercontinental Champion. Earthworm Jim. Woohoo, yay. We're all so excited. Earthworm Jim is in the ring. Woohoo. Our intercontinental champion. Anyways, nice knee from Dennis on the Biscuit Soldier. Robin Hood and Dennis. Dennis picks up Robin Hood. And Robin, ooh, forearm onto Robin Hood. Paul working on the doctor's knee now. Forearm from Biscuit Soldier on to Dennis. Now Paul throws Dennis, or Paul throws Biscuit Soldier into the corner. Maui and Biscuit Soldier. A block from Biscuit Soldier. A headbutt from Biscuit Soldier. Another headbutt from Biscuit Soldier on to Maui. Maui down, but he's up now. Intercontinental, Intercontinental Champion Earthworm Jim has gotten rid of Robin Hood. Earthworm Jim has. Maui in a submission, and now he Russian leg sweeped him. Dennis picks up Earthworm Jim. Nice farm from Dennis on Earthworm Jim. Dennis and Maui now, Biscuit Soldier and Dr. Mario. Nice clothesline from behind from Chow Chow on to Dennis. Earthworm Jim is trying everything he can to do something to Paul. DDT from Biscuit Soldier on to Maui. And Dennis has been eliminated. Trap Jaw eliminated. Dennis. Biscuit Soldier, power bomb on Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is now stunned. Paul is in a submission hold by Trap Jaw. Dr. Mario picks up Maui, kicks him. What does Dr. Mario have planned? Nice neck breaker there from Dr. Mario on to Maui. Powder Toast Man at number 19. Look at this. The doctor has eliminated Biscuit Soldier. Way to go, Dr. Mario. This is Powder Toast Band's second rumble. Come on, Trap Jaw. Oh, 
He almost got rid of the Intercontinental Champion. Ugh. This is your Rumble Powder Toast, man. You got this, buddy. And Trapjaw into the ropes. And goodbye, Trapjaw. Earthworm Jim has eliminated. Oh, Powder Toast Man misses that. Whatever he was trying to do. Earthworm Jim with the DDT on the Powder Toast Man. Powder Toast Man right back up, though. Kinda. And Earthworm Jim helps him up. No. Do not get rid of Powder Toast Man, Jim. Or I'll hit you even more than I do right now. Tony the Tiger at number 20. Paul has been in this one for a little bit. Nice reversal from Powder Toast Man on Earthworm Jim. Tony the Tiger can't do anything. We're going to double team on Maui. Nice kick there from Paul on Maui. Tony the Tiger lifts up Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario with reversal. No Maui. Don't. Oh, Maui from behind on Earthworm. Er, on the Powder Toast Band, who was going after Earthworm Jim, is what I was trying to do. Mm. Dr. Mario with a low blow on to Tony the Tiger. Well, folks, we all know it's Monday. And the person who hates Mondays the most is Garfield. Garfield is in the Monday Rumble. Garfield probably should have stayed asleep like he always wants to on Mondays. But he has to work today, it looks like. Nice hip toss there from Earthworm Jim on the Maui. Now Paul and Earthworm Jim. And Paul, oh, where's, what is Tony the Tiger doing to Paul? Oh, nothing. Paul is choking out Earthworm Jim. Here comes Butthead at number 22. Can Butthead do what his tag team partner, Beavis, has done? Win a rumble. Now, in your opinion, folks, was Beavis the follower of Butthead? I mean, you can't really say one was smarter than the other, but I just feel that, you know, I feel sorry for Beavis. Because Butthead was just always so cruel to him. You know, it's like Butthead was the bully and Beavis was just the sucker, I guess you could say. Stunner, full stone stunner from Earthworm Jim. Under Garfield, and Garfield is now stunned. So, I don't know. I, I feel that Butthead took advantage of Beavis a lot. But Beavis was so stupid that, you know, he decided to follow his good friend Butthead. You know, Beavis just wanted a good friend. And I think Butthead took advantage of it. That's my opinion on it. Powder Toast Man and Butthead. Garfield and Tony the Tiger. And Tony the Tiger trying to get rid of Garfield. And Dr. Mario thrown over, but not out. Paul, who is still in this one. Very good, Paul. Powder Toast Man with a block and then a form. Then a block from Earthworm Jim and then an elbow. Powder Toast Man. Nice move on Powder Toast Man on Butthead. Butthead is now stunned. Earthworm Jim is stunned thanks to Garfield. Garfield and Powder Toast Man having words with each other. And then a drop kick from Powder Toast Man on Tony the Tiger. Dr. Mario and Maui. DDT for Maui on Dr. Mario. Paul. Beautiful slam on Tony the Tiger. Powder Toast Man, can he get rid of Maui? Is someone going to help get rid of Maui? Snap bear into a kidney kick from Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario with a drop kick on Garfield, who was sitting there in the corner. Sun standing sunset flip from Dr. Mario on Garfield. Maui and Powder Toast Man. Butthead thrown over. Rock bottom from Maui on to Powder Toast Man. Powder Toast Man is now stunned. Dr. Mario thrown in the corner. Tony Tiger misses. And Paul's still in. Paul's still in. I'm impressed. Earthworm Jim trying to get rid of Butthead. Paul the reversal on Tony the Tiger. Garfield helping Earthworm Jim try to get rid of Butthead. Why would you want to help Earthworm Jim Garfield? Why? One more hit, Paul, on Maui, and he'll be stunned. Maui is now stunned, thanks to Paul. Powder Toast Man with a beautiful uppercut from behind on Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario right back up, and then look at that twirling kick from Earthworm Jim. Didn't do anything. 
Nice neck breaker from Garfield on the ball. Dr. Mario is now stunned. Dr. Mario gets knocked down. Butthead and Earthworm Jim. Nice suplex from Butthead on Earthworm Jim. Tony the Tiger and Garfield. Code breaker from Garfield on Tony the Tiger. Hip toss from Powder Toast Man on Garfield. Tony the Tiger and Powder Toast Man for just a brief moment. Earthworm Jim, you better not get rid of Tony the Tiger. Thank you, Tony. Now Maui and the Intercontinental Champion for a brief moment. Butthead has kind of had his issues with the Intercontinental Champion. Earthworm Jim in this match. One more hit on Earthworm Jim and he'll be stunned. But Butthead decides to go after Garfield. Someone stop a couple stomps on Earthworm Jim to stun him. Look at this. Powder Toast Man is down. That was tough. Dr. Mario. Ooh. Piracarana on to Tony the Tiger. Back suplex from Maui on to Garfield. Dr. Mario just got Cold Stone stunned by Earthworm Jim. And now Dr. Mario is now stunned. And who got eliminated? How did I not see that elimination? Who was that? Someone got eliminated. Dr. Mario. Ah, Butthead. Butthead got eliminated, I think. And I didn't see that. What, did Earthworm Jim get rid of him? Duh. Dr. Mario right back up. Powder Toast Man and Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario with a strong DDT on Powder Toast Man. Earthworm Jim trying to get rid of Maui. Paul puts Garfield in the corner. Nice arm drag there from Dr. Mario on Paul. Paul right back up. Look at those kicks on Paul. Look at this, the return of Gizmo. Mark why? If you guys are watching this after midnight, make sure you don't feed Gizmo. Because we know what happens if you feed a Gizmo after midnight. Or don't get him wet, guys. Make sure he doesn't sweat too much. Because we don't want to see what happens. Look at that suplex from Garfield on Dr. Mario. Powder Toast Man into the ropes, but saves himself. Powder Toast Man and Tony the Tiger. We have cereal and we have toast. Beautiful combination. Nice DDT there from Gizmo on to Garfield. And Powder Toast Man is stunned and Tony the Tiger still going at it with him. Earthworm Jim in the corner. Nice short clothesline from Gizmo. Gizmo and Tony the Tiger. Is Gizmo going to get rid of Tony? No, Tony's not ready to go yet. Garfield and Cinema Toast Man. Intercontinental Champion in Maui. Intercontinental Champion in Garfield now. Garfield with a beautiful standing. No, no, not a suplex. Earthworm Jim reverses. Is this it for the Doctor? Doctor's not eliminated yet. T Tony Tiger can't do it. Paul's still in this, guys. I know you guys are probably getting tired of me saying Paul's still in this, but that's impressive for Paul, okay? If you guys have watched many, many, many times that Paul has been in these rumbles, he's had some rumbles where he's lasted a while and some where he's eliminated pretty fast. And it looks like he's about to get eliminated by Garfield. Paul had a good run. He had a great run in this one. And now Garfield's going to get rid of him right there. Yep. Bye, Paul. Way to go, Paul. Paul did really well in this, vi in this video today. Kudos to you, Paul. Earthworm Jim and Garfield. Come on, Garfield. I know you hate Mondays, but come on. No, Earthworm Jim has gotten rid of Garfield. Garfield can now ignore this Monday. Powder Toast Man with a steak eyes on the Earthworm Jim. Dr. Mario thrown over and not out. Nice move from Powder Toast Man off the second rope onto Maui. Powder Toast Man throws Gizmo out, but cannot eliminate him. Nice neck breaker from Tony the Tiger on to Maui. I don't even know what number we're on for the next 
opponent to come out. What, number 23 or something? Well, we're going to find out here in seven seconds. One more hit on Powder Toast Band and he'll be stunned. Number 24, Samurai Jack. So we are on number 24. Okay, we still got a little bit of rumble to do and Gizmo's in trouble. Dr. Mario with a snap or three amigos on the Samurai Jack right away. Beautiful Bulldog from Earthworm Jim on the Powder Toast Band. Maui with the DDT on the Dr. Mario. Gizmo working on Samurai Jack's leg. Here comes Charlie Brown at number 25. Great number, Charlie Brown. Great number. Someone spike from Maui on the Gizmo. Samurai Jack thrown in the corner by Powder Toast Band. Tony the Tiger and Maui. Dr. Mario cannot do a great move there on Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim reverses. Tony the Tiger eliminated Maui. Gizmo and Charlie Brown are going at it. Samurai Jack, snap bear, into a drop kick on the Powder Toast Band. Tony the Tiger and Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim with a slap and then a forearm from behind on Tony the Tiger. Nice suplex there from Powder Toast Band onto Gizmo. Charlie Brown is now working on Samurai Jack. Now Charlie Brown is working on Jim. Let's get rid of Jim, Charlie Brown. Let's do this. No. Do not eliminate him. Thank you, Charlie Brown, for staying. Man, Earthworm Jim's trying everything he can to try to eliminate Charlie Brown. Now Samurai Jack is trying to eliminate Charlie Brown. It's not a matter from Tony the Tiger. He was going to run into the ropes with Powder Toast Band. like, ha, ha, ha. I'm tougher than you. Man at arms at number 26. Earthworm Jim is gone. Earthworm Jim has been eliminated by Tony the Tiger. Beautiful super kick there, Tony Tiger. Yes, you got rid of the Intercontinental Champion. I'm so happy that Earthworm Jim is gone. The Intercontinental Champion is history, at least for this trouble, for now. Gizmo with the beautiful DDT on the Cinnamon Toast. Mon. Charlie Brown and Tony the Tiger. Samurai Jack taking it easy in there in the corner. Close line from Dr. Mario on the Gizmo. Man at Arms and Dr. Mario. Man at Arms picks up Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario with a reversal and takes out Man at Arms leg. But Man at Arms right back up and Charlie Brown is there to meet him. Strong DDT from Dr. Mario on a Powder Toast Man. Gizmo and Dr. Mario. Tony the Tiger stomped on Samurai Jack. Stunner or RKO from Cinnamon Toast Man. Pile driver from Man at Arms on the Dr. Mario. Cinnamon Toast Man has Samurai Jack in the ropes. Samurai Jack with a reversal. Here comes Paul's tag team partner, E.T. Beautiful DDT by Charlie Brown. Man at Arms right back up. That didn't affect him at all. Man at Arms starts in the corner. Charlie Brown is going to try to eliminate him. So much is going on here. Here we go. Tony the Tiger and Samurai Jack, Gizmo and Dr. Mario. E.T. has nobody. E.T. now goes after Dr. Mario. Charlie Brown and Tony the Tiger. Close line from behind from Charlie Brown on Tony the Tiger. E.T. and Samurai Jack. Dr. Mario has gotten rid of Man at Arms with that beautiful clothesline. E.T. into the ropes. E.T. is gone. E.T. is going to phone home because Tony the Tiger Super kicked him out of there. Bulldog from Gizmo. Samurai Jack and Cinnamon Toast. Man, and Dr. Mario has been eliminated by Charlie Brown. Nice move, Charlie Brown. Let's go, Charles. Let's go, Powder Toast Man. Have I been calling him Cinnamon Toast Man? Even though I've been meaning to say Powder Toast Man? I don't remember. If I did mess that up, I apologize. Just so much is going on. And the brain goes faster than the mouth, my friends. That's all I can say about that. 
The Tick, number 28. Remember a couple rumbles ago when the Tick came out in what, number three, I believe? And I said he couldn't go coast to coast, he went coast to coast. So I was very impressed with the Tick. And being at number 28, that's a great number for the Tick. This could be the Tick's rumble. But I really, really, really hope it's Powder Toast Man's rumble. Or Charlie Brown. Or Tony the Tiger. Honestly. Snap matter from Powder Toast Man to the million dollar fist drop. Mick Evil at 29. Code breaker from the Tick on to Samurai Jack. Mick Evil is in. Mick Evil. And goes right after nobody. Neckbreaker from the Tick on to Charlie Brown. Mick Evil finally goes after Charlie Brown. DDT's Charlie Brown. The Tick and Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger puts Tick into the ropes. Super kick. And the Tick is gone. Wow. Gizmo has... Someone has an opportunity to get rid of Gizmo. Gizmo is gone. Thanks to Mick Evil. And number 30, Skeletor. So we're now down to our, we would have had our eight in here if Gizmo and Tick didn't get eliminated, but we are down to our final six in episode 12 of season seven Royal Rumble. We have Mick Evil, Skeletor. Let's see, Samurai Jack, Charlie Brown, Tony the Tiger, and Powder Toastman. Powder Toastman puts Tony the Tiger into the corner. Lifts up Tony the Tiger. Can he eliminate Tony the Tiger? Is Tony the Tiger ready to leave? Charlie Brown and Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack has gone. We're down to our final five. Charlie Brown has eliminated the Samurai Man himself, Jack. Skeletor who just came in and Mick Evil. Charlie Brown and Powder Toast Man. Mick Evil and Tony the Tiger. Mick Evil down. Charlie Brown and Skeletor. Nice move from Charlie Brown onto Skeletor. Elbow from Charlie Brown onto Skeletor's head. Skeletor right back up though. Oh, low blow from McEvil. That was very McEvil to shove you, McEvil. To do that to Tony the Tiger. Super kick, Charlie Brown. Nice boot there from Powder Toast Man onto Skeletor. DDT from McEvil onto Tony the Tiger. Skeletor body slams hard. Powder Toast Man and McEvil has gotten rid of Skeletor. We're down to our final four. No. Oh. Whew. Whew. Heart attack there. No. Come on, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie Brown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get rid of McEvil and let's have a great final three. Nice move from Powder Toast Man on Tony the Tiger. Neckbreaker from Charlie Brown on to McEvil. Tony the Tiger and Charlie Brown and what will we do in there, Powder Toast Man? Were we thinking of a sleeper hold? Look like we were doing the Brutus, the Barb Beefcake kind of strut thing. Where you'd point and then say it's time to go to sleep. But you weren't able to finish it, were ya? Stomp from Charlie Brown on Tony the Tiger. Now Charlie Brown is stretching out Tony's neck. What an extreme rumble this is, my friends. And that's it. Powder Toast Man's gone. <sighs> Better luck next time, Powder Toast Man. Charlie Brown has eliminated Powder Toast Man. Now can Charlie Brown get rid of McEvil? I mean, either way, if Tony wins, I'm happy. Charlie Brown wins, I'm happy. So, but I really wanted Powder Toast Man to win this one. I really, really wanted him to, but it wasn't in the books. Here we go. Tony the Tiger has been eliminated. It's between Mick Evil and Charlie Brown. Will Mick Evil win his very, very first Rumble? Or will Charlie Brown win his second? Uh, if Mick Evil has his way, it looks like he's going to win his first Rumble, but it's hard to say. There goes Tony, and Charlie Brown's done. Mick Evil has won. Congratulations to Mick Evil for winning this Extreme Rumble. Mick Evil has finally won a Rumble after, what, 
This is his third season in, and he has finally won a Rumble. Fortunately, I can't find his tag team partner, Mick Big Mac, for some reason on this. So, he has joined his tag team partner, Mick Evil, in winning a Rumble before. So, congratulations to Mick Evil. Remember, my friends, don't forget to hit that subscription button, that like button, that comment button. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And also, don't forget, part two of our universe mode is tonight. So, until I get to talk to you guys again, I'm out of here. Have a great Monday, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.